What up, sports fans? I'm Paulo Camacho, and this is the Macho Sports Report, where I talk to you about the sports stories that matter to me, and hopefully, matter to you. So, 2015 World Series is set. Can you tell someone's having a problem letting go? Welcome back, Kansas City. Good to see you again. Greetings, New York. Fancy seeing you here. In a year where the Chicago Cubs dominated the postseason spotlight for pop culture reasons. The Kansas City Royals and New York Mets yanked the headlines right out from under them, which is exactly why you should be intrigued by this series. The Royals were a last second home run away from winning the World Series last year. The 2-2. And they had a target on their backs in the American League as one of the favorites to win the AL. Ultimately, it didn't matter. They still had their stellar bullpen, a much improved on paper pitching staff, including additions Johnny Cueto and Edison Volquez, and much of the same core of hitters that made the Fall Classic in 2014. Now having dispatched a formidable Blue Jays team in six games, the Royals have some unfinished business to settle with the baseball gods. The Mets, on the other hand, were a dark horse for most of the season. They were treading water for much of the regular season, finding themselves with a paltry 53-50 and 50 record at the end of July. Then they traded for Tigers outfielder Yoenis Cespedes, which apparently galvanized the team to the tune of a 37-22 and 22 record the rest of the way, and an unlikely NL East title. They remind me of the 2010 San Francisco Giants, with an unexpected offensive attack and stellar starting rotation. They seemingly ambushed their way to the World Series, taking out the $300 million bums and the predestined Cubs in the process. I mean, they beat the great Zemeckis prophecy. That's saying something. Oh, and what do you know? This will be the first time two expansion teams will face each other in the Fall Classic. That's apropos of nothing. I just thought it was an interesting little factoid for you. But make no mistake, both teams are starving for a commissioner's trophy. Neither team has won since the mid-80s. The Royals in 1985, sorry Cardinals fans, and the Miracle Mets of 1986, sorry Red Sox fans. And hey, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, let's go down the line. Can the Mets pitching staff handle the Royals' multifaceted offense the way they dispatched the Cubs' heavy hitters? Can the Royals rely on a duo of Cueto and Volquez that gave up ERAs of 4.02 and 5.70 respectively? with a combined record of 5-9 and nine against the Mets? Can Daniel Murphy keep up his historic offensive showing in the World Series? Can Alcides Escobar, Eric Hosmer, Salvador Perez, and Lorenzo Cain touch the likes of Jacob deGrom, Noah Syndergaard, and Matt Harvey? It's going to be a hell of a time finding out, starting on Tuesday. So, what do you think? How do you see this 2015 World Series playing out? And most importantly, who you got? Leave your responses in the comments section below. I'm Paul Camacho, and this has been the Macho Sports Report. Peace out, sports fans!